This is our unit on the introduction to one-step equations with addition and subtraction. If you remember from last year, inverse operations are opposite operations. Addition is the inverse of subtraction, and subtraction is the inverse of addition. It's like these operations undo each other, and when you have adding and subtracting, if you do the inverse, you'll end up with zero pairs, which means they will cancel each other out. The first sample problem is x minus 10 equals 4. So you don't have to do this, but I like to separate one side of the equation from the other. I'm looking at the left side, x minus 10. We want to isolate the variable, which x is the, is the variable, and it's a subtraction, minus 10. The inverse of minus 10 would be plus 10. So we would add 10 to both sides. And then negative 10 plus 10 becomes 0. x equals 0. 4 plus 10 is 14. I know that Mr. Geary did this last year, this step with x plus 0. I just want you to realize that the negative 10 and the positive 10 are creating that 0 pair. And this is why we're able to isolate that variable. And our final answer is x equals 14. These are the steps that you must do. I know that you can figure this out. I know you know the answer is 14, but I need to see these steps. As we work uh, with some more complex problems, you won't be able to do these in your head. So please indulge me and just show your steps. On the right-hand side, we have 2 fifths equals m minus 1 fifth. So again, I'm just creating this, these double bars to separate the sides. It's a subtraction, minus one-fifth, think of a negative one-fifth. The inverse would be positive one-fifth. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. We end up with two-fifths plus one-fifth is three-fifths. And then m plus zero, three-fifths equals m. You can go ahead and check your work. x minus 10 is 4. If we say that x is 14, we have 14 minus 10 is 4. And then we would say, we do see that 4 is 4. Because it balances on both sides, we know that we've, um, we do have the correct answer. So let's take a look at these problems. This is x plus 7 is 9. So creating my double bars. This is a positive 7. In order to undo or use the inverse, we are going to subtract 7 from both sides. This gives us x plus 0 is 2, or x equals 2. Negative 5 plus x is 3. We have a negative 5. This is a good question, a good problem, because we have it as an addition problem here, plus x, but it's a negative 5. So we need to undo this minus 5, and we're going to add 5 to both sides. The 5 and the negative 5 cancel out. We have 3 plus 5 is 8, or x equals 8. Down here we have negative 14 equals 6 plus x. So the 6 is a positive 6. We are going to subtract 6 from both sides. x plus 0. I'm a little messy. 0. Be careful here. Negative 14 minus 6 is negative 20. Negative 20 equals x. And going back, these are the types of problems that are good to check. Negative 14 equals 6 plus negative 20. Negative 14 equals 6 minus 20. And yes, this is correct. Let's take a look at some algebraic expressions written in words. We've got to put them in algebraic expressions now. So I'm going to break this one down, and I don't necessarily start from the front. What I end up doing is 
I go right to here. I go to is equal to. And is equal to, it's just the equal sign, is equal to 12. And then I'm going to take a look at less than. Less than I know is a minus sign. Now here's the tricky part. I have 10 and I have a number. I'm going to call that number x. And I have 10. Is it going to be 10 minus x or is it x minus 10? So if I remember, less than means that these are reversed. So it's x minus 10. 10 less than a number. I have that number. I have some something in my basket and I now have 10 less than. So now I have x minus 10 equals 12. And I can go ahead and just continue with this. It's a subtraction problem, a negative 10. I want the inverse, which is adding 10. I have x plus 0 equals 22, or x equals 22. We're going to have a couple of these that we'll work on tomorrow. Lastly, we have a algebra problem embedded with geometry. So we have um, write and solve an equation to find each value of x. So our little hint here, the measures of complementary angles is 90 degrees. These are complementary, so we need to come up with an equation. This box down here tells me it's a right angle. Right angles measure 90. So it equals 90. Well, what equals 90? 63 plus x. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 63. I have x equals 27 degrees. So that's the missing angle. So let's go to the last page. And I'd like you just to do practice, page 80, numbers 2, 8, and 14. Thank you.